name's David Moore. I'm about to have an exhibition at Christopher's Gallery. The paintings that I produce are done in the studio, apart from my landscapes. And I always try to get a sense of the solitude of the studio and my relationship to the things that I find around me. I've always been a collector and I like those objects to be seen as rather special within the environment of, of the studio. And by the time I start painting, I feel that I'm in the space that the object um, projects. The, the, the area around the object, I feel, is just as important as the object itself. In a way, they're minimal paintings, and minimal paintings are sort of on the edge of just not having enough, but just having enough. Uh, Picasso once said that if you're, if you're waiting for inspiration to come in through the window, you better be working when it does. <laughs> and I think it's true, you know, if you wait and wait for the time when you feel that it's just right, well, you might be waiting a long time, but it might not ever happen. But if in the process of going about your work, you're working, this painting might not work, and that one might be a little bit better than the, than the one before that, uh, then the chances are that something will happen and something will come, and from that group of paintings, then you make a selection for an exhibition. When I paint my landscapes, the approach is very similar even though I do like painting landscapes where the subject matter is quite complicated. I like immersing myself in the bush and painting sections of the bush and you get a sense of the feeling of it. You're not uh, thinking about other things, uh, other things not coming into your mind when you're normally walking through the bush and so I try to capture that little quality again. It's a little bit like the feeling I get in the studio when the things that I like to paint are around me. So I can look at something that's complicated, find a simple pattern. And within my paintings of the landscape, you generally find a simple pattern, which is then extended to variations to make it sort of work in a fuller sense, give the eye something more to deal with and get on with. But basically, I try to keep the sort of simplicity and overall feeling. Paintings, I do work straight onto the canvas. Uh, I think, uh, look through a view, find a, a sense where things are going to go, uh, might put in just a few preliminary marks. But I do find that with oil painting, particularly if you're trying to get a free look, that if you put little fences down, you're inclined to work inside the fences and outside the fences. And it's the edges within a painting, it's where one area of paint meets another, where you get the beauty in the beauty in a painting through the transition and that's often where you get lovely little blushes of colour and variations of tone. If you put lines down there, it does tend to be a rigidity right from the beginning and a reluctance to move things around because that's the start that you've made. I like to push things around and move them up and down and I might start a painting, go inside, have a cup of tea, come back outside and just realise that I've got to move everything just subtly but everything up or down or to the side. Paintings that have always drawn me have been those that have moved me. I think in the end, whether you're painting a simple still life or painting a complex uh, genre painting, in the end painting should be about moving somebody, trying to express something that the artist feels. And often I feel these days people get caught up in the painting technique and the look and gloss of the painting and linking with some sort of contemporary uh, movement. And in the end I think paintings that will live will be those that do move people. And I find that over the years when I go to galleries overseas, different paintings move me in different ways depending a bit on where I am and my own development. But the artist that never ever uh, uh, wavers in terms of greatness is Rembrandt to me, is just the ultimate. Uh, I, it'd be very hard to look at a Rembrandt and say, oh look, no, I don't know about that, it looks a bit slight or uh, it's not really for me. It's uh, indisputable really, just like great music.